a 15 days of foundation. If you're new here, this is where we're trying out a new foundation every single day for 15 days. If you missed the previous days, you can check the playlist down below. It'll have everything there. But today we're trying out the Catrice All Matte Plus Shine Control Makeup. Along with their concealer, this... Are you kidding me? This is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. So I haven't heard anyone talk about this. I've heard a little bit about the concealer. Haven't seen any reviews or heard anyone mention this foundation. You can get this at Ulta. I believe they're a European brand, but Ulta now carries it. It's a drugstore foundation. It retails for $8.99, which is awesome. You get one fluid ounce of product in here. It has a glass bottle, which is classy. And there's also a pump. There's only five shades of this foundation on the Ulta website, which is definitely a downside. This is the shade 010 Light Beige. This is the lightest shade they make, and I do some shade swatches for you guys so you can see how it compares to some of my other pale foundations. Okay, so I just want to show you guys some swatch comparisons so you can see if it's going to be light enough for you. This is the Catrice Foundation. This one is Lancome Tint Idol Ultra. All these are in the lightest shades, by the way. This one is Hard Candy Glamouflage Foundation. This is Marc Jacobs Remarkable. So, whoa, shit. So these three are obviously quite a bit lighter than this, probably two shades lighter it looks like to me. Keep in mind that all three of these are too light for me. Worn by themselves, they look a little bit ghostly. I could do it, but it definitely looks like it's a little bit light. When I use these foundations, I typically mix in a darker foundation with it, but if these match you, this one definitely wouldn't. So let's read some of the claims. They actually have some on the bottle. So it says it's supposed to be mattifying, long-lasting, it's oil-free. It says it lasts up to 18 hours. Long-lasting shine control makeup with light reflecting pigments for a satin matte and even complexion. Hydrating, oil-free. I'm going on Ulta's website to see if they say anything different. On Ulta it says it controls unwanted shine all day long. Oil-free with full coverage. Flawless finish without a mask-like effect. We'll see how it wears throughout the day, but since this is an oil controlling makeup, this is probably not geared towards people with dry skin probably people more on the combo oily side, which is what I am. I have combination skin with cystic acne. I like a full coverage foundation. If it has some kind of shine controlling properties, that's kind of always a bonus because I do tend to get a little bit shiny on my T-zone throughout the day, but I don't like a totally, totally matte finish. I'll wear it, but it's not my favorite. Like always, you can leave any foundation requests down below, and if you like this series, give it a thumbs up so I know. If you want to see how the Catrice All Matte Plus foundation applies and wears throughout the day you're in the right place just keep watching <laughs>
and I haven't heard anything about the foundation, but I have heard good things about the concealer. If you're a pale princess, I think we have hope with this. I think this might be light enough. It says it's waterproof, and I have the shade 005 Light Natural, which is the lightest shade. It has a doe foot applicator. Oh yeah, this is definitely light enough. Heck yeah. It always rocks when you find a light enough drugstore concealer. Looks really nice, not as high coverage as the Urban Decay Naked Concealer or my Collection Cosmetics Concealer, but looks really nice, definitely is brightening, definitely light enough if you have pale skin. This could be your jam. Before I powder, I set the under eyes and set the face. I'm going to show you guys a close-up. So here's without setting the under eye concealer or anything. The finish looks really nice, right? I feel like this is usually what my forehead looks like after I set it. Like the texture, you can't really see as much of the texture as usual. Alright, so right now it's 11.56. I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. I'm back. So I was just setting my under eyes and I noticed that it's actually starting to set pretty matte. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it looks a lot more matte than it did five minutes ago. Still has a tiny bit of a satin matte finish, but it's definitely way more matte than it was before. Still a tiny bit sticky, so I'm just going to set probably the center of my face and where I'm going to apply brush and bronzer. Br did I just say brush and bronzer? <laughs> oh man. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit of the Celebration Foundation Illumination from Make Cosmetics on my forehead, now it's chin, and then just whatever's left over on the brush here just so I can blend out bronzer and stuff. Alright, now I will be right back. Alright, so the rest of my makeup's on. I used the new Milani, it's like rose gold, it's called Chromatic Addict 01, and I used that with a tiny bit of the 24-7 Urban Decay Naked Liner. So it looks really good. Everything blended out easily on top of it. I like the finish. I like the coverage. I feel like it was just kind of effortless to apply. Now that the rest of my makeup's on, I feel like it definitely looks a little bit dark. It's totally doable for me, but I would probably mix in a tiny bit of Manic Panic or a lighter foundation when I wear this. I do like my foundations to be a little bit lighter, so it like totally matches my neck. I just did the shade comparison, so as you guys saw in the shade swatches, it is quite a bit darker than a lot of my other pale foundations. The concealer is definitely pale princess friendly. If you're super pale, try out the concealer. So far, I'm liking it. We'll see if it creases, but just the way that my powder applied on top of it and everything, I do like the concealer. So it's now 12.25, getting a late start because I woke up with a migraine this morning. So I'm going to wear this as long as possible, probably till like 8 or 9 at night, and we will see how it wears throughout the day. It's now 5 o'clock p.m., so the foundation's been on for almost five hours. Let's take a look. So I'm getting a tiny bit of smile lines right here. Around the nose area looks good. Everything else looks good. I don't actually, yeah, like no oils coming off on my finger. Blush, bronzer, highlight still looks really good. I'm gonna show you guys a close up so you can see the mouth lines really quick. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's the mouth lines right there. Everything else looks really nice. Here's the forehead. Thank you, Zit. I'm heading to the farmer's market right now, so I'm probably I'm going to be wearing sunglasses, and I usually get like sunglass marks right there. We'll see. Oh, what is in my eyeball? So we'll see if I get really bad lines with this foundation. Now that it's been on for a while, I definitely think it looks a tad dark. Next time I wear this, I'll definitely try mixing it in with a lighter foundation. What is in my eye? Okay, so it is almost 9 o'clock p.m. at night. I feel like I need to go to sleep right now. I'm so tired. I think it's from being out in the sun. I just took a shot of what my face looks like in natural lighting, which I will insert right here, but just uh, almost dropped my camera on the hardwood floor, so that was fun. So the foundation's been on for almost nine hours now, uh, about eight and a half, and as you can see in the natural lighting clip, I think it looks pretty good. It is looking a lot more reflective on my forehead in this light than it did in natural lighting. I did wear sunglasses earlier, obviously, and the lines aren't nearly as bad as they usually are. I usually have to like re-put makeup on over because I get such bad sunglass lines on my nose. These ones aren't bad at all, and it was like hot outside, it's getting a little sweaty, and they don't look bad at all. I definitely think that I would use this again. Next time I use it, I'm going to mix it in with a lighter foundation. If they made this a shade lighter, that would be awesome. Prime side versus not prime side looks exactly the same to me. 
And the concealer, I do like. I'll be using the concealer again. Not super full coverage, but it is light enough. So if you struggle with finding a drugstore concealer that's light enough, try this one. This one is super pale. But it's eight bucks. If you're looking for a good coverage, long lasting foundation, I would try it out if I were you. Return it if you don't like it. But that is it. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up so I know. If you guys are excited about this series, make sure you share it, tell your friends, do what you gotta do. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,